guys so today I'm gonna to be talking about um, why I haven't been vlogging as much um, so I have a dog named Maggie I mean you've probably seen her in my vlogs many of times um, and she re we recently had to put her down um, because well I'm gonna explain right now but um, for the last month, she wasn't eating very much, and we were kind of confused about that. Cause she would usually eat a lot, a lot, a lot. And so um, she wouldn't eat that much, and I was very confused. And then we, I got her a pack of bones, but she loves bones. She would eat bones. Like, it would take her a day to eat a bone. Um... And she didn't eat them at all. Nothing. And so we just thought, okay, maybe they're stale. And I'm like, but they're the same brand. They were packaged pretty well. Like, I don't understand. And um, the whole time that this was happening, I had a feeling in my heart, by the way that she was walking, by the way that she was acting, it was starting to get to the point where she wasn't going to be able to do a lot of things anymore. I didn't know that she was going to pass away, but I did have a feeling that she wasn't going to be able to do the things that, you know, she used to be because she wasn't getting on the beds anymore, uh, neither my bed or my sister's bed, um, or my brother's bed, um, and my bed is the lowest bed in the house, so she would easily go up there and lay down for a little while, but she wouldn't, she wouldn't go up there anymore, um, and every time she would get up, she would like get stiff and then like her bones would crack and then she would like start walking um and so yeah i one day it was november 1st and i ended up um she was fine all day i saw her she would we had breakfast together she was begging she was playful she we gave her a pancake, I know, we are probably not supposed to give a dog a pancake, but gave her a pancake because she was being a, such a good doggy. She ate it perfectly fine. Um, I was gone from like 12 to 5 o'clock, and then when I came home at 5, she didn't look good at all. I literally saw her, and I was like, there's something wrong with her. And the way she looked, it looked like she had to throw up. Um, and then the way she walked, it was very slow. She could barely walk and move. And um, so we just ended up, um, I ended up putting her outside to go to the bathroom and stuff. And she did, she was fine out there. She came back in. She laid down and she couldn't get up from then. And then she ha she threw up once, and it was just dog food. It wasn't any blood or anything. Um, oh, I forgot to mention. My mom, in the morning before, like when I woke up, um, my mom found a puddle of blood where she lays. And so we were like, okay, that's weird. And then my mom checked everywhere, and she wasn't bleeding. So she was like, well, I don't know what happened. Maybe it's just a fluke thing. Um, but anyways, back to what I was talking about. She threw up once, and then we tried to take her out for a walk, but she didn't want to go at all. Like usually, she gets really, really super excited that she wants to. She really wants to go, and she didn't get excited at all. She just sat. She just looked at the leash, and then um, after she threw up, we decided to, to to try to take her out for a walk again. And she did get up. She got excited for a little bit. So then me and Diego, we decided to take her out. And uh, my house has a step. When you go out into the into the front yard, there's like this step that you go down. And um, we were able to get to the step, but she couldn't step down the step. Um, so she tried turning around, but it took her... A while she could barely move it was really hard for her to move her legs and her her arms 
Um, it was very hard for her to move. Um, my mom thought that she had a stroke. And so we had her there and we just thought, okay, well, we'll see what, what's going to happen in the morning. We'll see. So this was Saturday night. So, I mean, there's no vet available. And we called the vet and she said, no, you only during um, business hours I would be able to go to your house and you would be, and I could um, help you out with the, the animal. And we were just really confused. We were like, okay, well, how are we going to get her there if she can't walk in to the car and get into the car or anything? And so uh, we got, the, we, sh we let her lay down for like mm, a couple hours from like six to nine. And um, the whole time she was unable to breathe, like she would have to pant. To breathe and so um, we just my mom was just like we need to take her and we need to figure out what's going on with her so we figured out we went there and um, we had to sit in the room for a very long time for like an hour and a half but that's okay that she was I mean the vet is busy it's an emergency hospital and uh, the vet was busy, and so we had to sit there for an hour and a half, and she was just like, like the whole time. She couldn't lay down and put her head down. She w wouldn't want to drink. She didn't want to drink any water or anything. And um, I, I don't want to get emotional, but uh, I had hope that it was just something that we could fix, that we could just give her medicine and say, okay, now you're better. It's just a, it's just a little bug that she has. Um, and so when the vet came in, she touched her, she, you know, touched everywhere. And she touched her stomach. And her stomach, when she touched her stomach, pressed on it, she winced like a main bad. She was like, you know, and um, she winched pretty bad, and then when she ended up, um, she, what was I going to say? Oh, she um, ended up taking my dog back and getting an ultrasound on the dog, or Maggie, I should say Maggie, not the dog, Maggie, and she um, came back in, and Maggie ended up having a, what is it called, a blister, not a blister, um, like a tumor, a blood tumor, and it popped, and blood was in her stomach, and we weren't sure if the whole thing popped, or if she still had a little piece that we could get out and help her with it. Um, so basically she was internally bleeding. And then we had to decide, we had to decide to put her down. It was a very hard choice, um, at least for me. I, I had hope that she was going to live through it and that she was strong enough to be be here. Um, I, we were in the room with her when she passed. Um, we had a very long, long time. And, uh, before she even passed. I just wanted to take her home. I just wanted to cuddle with her one last time, or, um, I just wish I could go back and not leave. 
leave that day and just spend time with her one last time. But she, she had to go. But she's in heaven right now. Um, she's in heaven. I believe that she's in heaven. Um, it's very hard. And I know there's people out there that don't understand. But they don't understand the love of a pet. A pet doesn't betray you. That's a strong word, but betray you. A pet doesn't make you angry. <laughs> Even though sometimes you do get angry at your pet, you don't stay angry. You feel the love of them. They don't know what's wrong or right like humans do. They make mistakes, but they learn from them. Um, and having her was definitely a, a good thing to have around. <laughs> I loved her so much. And, uh, it was very hard. Very hard for, uh, for me. Because I couldn't. She was my baby. I wouldn't call her my dog. She was my baby. She. I would take care of her and play with her and I would, she would always bark at me and Diego when we would hug too. I would always call that that was for protecting me. And I thought it was so cute that she was trying to protect me from him. say something to her. I, I, I literally, like, we were all crying when we left, and, uh, that night I couldn't sleep at all. I kept waking up, and I didn't even sleep in my room, because that's where she would lay. She would lay right next to my bed, and I couldn't get up. <laughs> I would have to step over her. She was just so cute. She, um, she had a good life. I've had her since I was in sixth grade. And it was I still remember that day when we got her, when we went to the house. Or the house, the shelter. <laughs> And, uh, we saw her in the, we called and said, do you have labs avail available? And we said, yeah. And so we went there and we saw her and we just fell in love with her. And, uh, we got her March 1st of 2006? No, 2006, I don't know, 2006, I guess. Um. And I ended up, um, <laughs> sorry, I ended, uh, she ended up being a very wonderful dog, and it was cute, because the day that we were supposed to get her, my dad was out of town, so we were... I wasn't sure if we were going to get her or not. So I go home from school and uh, I see I see her laying there and she gets up and I, I just walk in and I'm like no 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 don't get up because she just had surgery and I was nervous that she would get hurt 
And it's all like, no, don't get up, don't get up. But she was so skinny. And then once we started feeding her and stuff, she, she started to gain her, um, start gaining. Gaining weight because we gave her hot dogs and snacks and even though I know that that's bad for a dog, it was we were little, so it was kind of like you know, one thing. And she just had a litter of puppies, but they didn't tell us where the puppies were or anything. Anyways, guys, that's why I haven't been vlogging. Um, I know that there's going to be people out there that are going to be like, Why would you cry over a dog? Like, that's how I felt when it first happened. I thought there would be more people like that than people concerned about me. And there is a good amount of people that were concerned about me. More people than people that weren't. And I think because nowadays people have animals more, like dogs and cats and stuff, they have more animals. And if that happened to their animal, then they would have totally understand. And I would understand too, because, you know, going through this is rough. But, uh,. I have loved her with all my heart, and uh, she was my best friend. Even though she barked a little bit too much, she was she was my best friend. But anyways guys, thank you guys for um, understanding why I haven't been vlogging and stuff and um, thank you for your support in this. Everybody who saw on Facebook and stuff that commented and stuff like that. Thank you so much for all your support and everything that has happened. Um, It was definitely rough. It still is. It hasn't been a month yet, but it's still really rough. Um, so now I'm going to show you a couple video clips and stuff like that of my baby bear. Um, I hope you enjoy it and I hope that, and I will be doing more videos for you guys, don't worry. Um, Thanks guys for understanding and watching my videos. Bye. Oh. My puppy is very sad. She's going to miss us so much. Look at her. Oh. She has this little sad face. Oh. I'm going to miss you. Love you.